this video we're going to change the solenoid on a uh, 9100 series power master uh, power max starter this one happens to be a 9103 on a small block ford um, starter is not very old but uh, the solenoid started acting up i haven't contacted them to see if there's any type of warranty or anything but i have a brand new solenoid sitting on the shelf just in case something like this happens um, getting a lot of click click with no crank um, it's been doing kind of a slow crank when hot but um, I think that has to do a lot with heat um, I don't know we'll uh, see if a bigger uh, battery cable will help it and I have a starter blanket to put on it and um, we'll put a new solenoid on it there's no videos really that deal with the 9100 series that I've seen on YouTube so stand by and we'll uh, tear into this thing and change the solenoid obviously the first step is to remove the starter um, nice part about these starters is they're clockable down in the front I'd just like to say that Power Master is not sponsoring this video I paid retail I actually paid overnight shipping to uh, get this starter but first step is to remove the starter. Second step, loosen up this um, this nut right back here so you can pull this wire down. Um, then you're gonna wanna crack these guys loose. And you remove him, which obviously I cracked him loose already with a wrench before I apologize for the messiness of my workbench. I'm, not very good at cleaning stuff. Um, it's a 5 16 wrench, 8 millimeter would probably work as well. So you get those bolts out, solenoid pulls out, and you're left with there's a clip and a plunger. You have to reuse the clip on the new solenoid, but the new solenoid comes with a plunger, the nuts on the back, and the screw right there. So uh, I'm doing this one-handed, so kind of stand by here as I set up for the next part. We're gonna tear into this one a little bit more, so if there was a warranty on it, there probably isn't now, but um, it smells like it got hot, so I'm gonna just open it up and take a look. There's the planetary gears. This whole plate right here comes out. Planetary gears with all the Bendix and all that good stuff. We'll set him there. Last one of these I did had a lot of grease actually on the pitman and the gears. And this is the, there's the ring gear on the outside. This, this one has absolutely no grease in it, but whatever we can fix that and that's that's how you get a high torque starter right there just with the pitman gears get these bolts out bolts out and then uh, you get the rest of this the rest of this out of the vise and uh, we'll keep going. See I took, got the bolts out, had to give this a little tap. Nice part that I found, the last one of these I took apart is the uh, all kinds of brush material in there. Um, the last one of these I took apart, this armature doesn't, doesn't pull up out of the brushes which is nice because usually the brushes are a rear oil pain to uh, get everything lined back up but I'm gonna that's the inner workings, your brushes are down in there. The uh, commutator bar is down in there, this is all your armature and everything. There's quite a bit of brush material and nasty crap in there. This was a brand new starter, it isn't but a couple months, it's not. I bet it ain't two months old. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna go clean 
all your all my brushes and crap in there and uh, we'll grease everything up put it back together put a new solenoid on it i take this part clean it all up it goes over and it's magnets this little grab keep your fingers back it's nice because it only kind of go one way there's a notch right here and uh so that goes on there like that and then this plate goes on leave something like that something like that apologize for this video quality it kind of sucks i'm doing it with a cell phone and i'm doing it all one-handed so uh i'm gonna go grease up all these pinions and everything in there the i guess they call those planet gears and then the sun gears this guy right here because the pinion gears or planet gears go around the sun gear and then the outer gear here this big one here is a ring gear so let me go grease all those up and uh we'll put it back together there's that use a little bit of red mystic and uh this outer <clears throat> outer ring gear will only go one way um, if you put it in the other way it's going to stick up past this uh silver this uh silver cut piece here if you uh it's kind of got a machined area that makes it sit flush if uh, you go to put it back together and it's sticking up past here um, you've done it backwards then your planet gears just go like that and then it'll sit on that piece right there and the long bolts will go through so we'll uh, put this back together and keep going so this whole piece right here just drops down in your planetary setup with your armature on the front or bendix whatever the hell it's called don't forget this white piece or you get to tear it all back apart and put it in there don't ask me how I know so then this part drops in I have to spin it a little bit to get everything to line up which I can't do with one hand, so uh, we'll. Uh, that's how it goes back together. Only go one way. You want to put the wire sticking out the top. Um, I'm gonna have to put the phone down and uh, get it, and then we'll reconvene. So that's how that all goes back together. Your long bolts go through. That'll only go one way. There's your planetary gear setup done in there. This is the white piece that little white plastic piece that throws the Bendix in and out when the solenoid pulls. It. Uh, solenoid will pull and make contact across those two terminals back there this is your 12 volt starter lead so when you put 12 volts to that the uh, solenoid will pull back and it'll make contact across here this right here is where the wire this wire right here goes onto this terminal your main battery power goes onto this terminal your solenoid pulls back makes an electromagnetic electromagnetic field pulls back makes contact across those terminals and doing so it pulls on this plunger right here when it pulls back on that plunger it pulls back on this thing this white white piece and shoots your bendix forward which comes out and engages your flywheel your ring gear whatever you got um, this is going in a 302 Ford so that's how all that works this piece right here is a, acts as kind of like a spring and a pivot point for this uh, plastic piece right here so that's how all that works so my issues with the solenoid the solenoid is not happy so we are going to put a new one of them in then we'll test this and uh, see if it works so this is the brand new solenoid I don't know if it was supposed to because the box that it showed up in was all exploded all over the uh, inside of the packaging but my new solenoid didn't come with this metal spring piece so I just transferred it over to uh, the new solenoid and you have to take the plunger that's right here and you have to hook it over the white piece right there the white plastic piece and then you just kind of shove it up in there and then you'll bolt it together. This is what the starter looks like when you take, or the solenoid looks like when you take it out. That's the plunger, that's the spring, um, spring and the pivot point. My old starter, I have an older one that I bought used, it had this plate in there. 
my new starter doesn't have that so I'm gonna obviously use the plate on my old starter that I'm gonna keep as a spare that solenoid hopefully is still okay enough for a spare to get you off the side of the road but I'm gonna obviously put the new one on the starter that goes in the car but I'm not gonna use this plate because this starter didn't use it the old one did so I'm gonna get it all bolted up and then we'll uh, get out some jumper wires and play here and see if it works so a little rubber square block gasket piece that has to go in there um, goes in there only fit one way um, there's a square spot and it just kind of fits in it'll only go one way and if you forget that you have to take solenoid back off and put that back in there well like I said before I have a nice uh, tripod but I can't find it so I had to put you on a mount on my head so we have 12 volts here coming into the main terminal here on the solenoid this is uh, the starter side this right here is the start terminal so if we put 12 volts to that side we uh, should get some action here so hopefully you can see it there we go Bendix pops out we got juice coming through it's turning I would advise you not to touch that while you're trying to turn it because it will probably rip the skin off your hand and not care about it so yeah I mean it sounds good Bendix comes out like it should so that right there is how you uh, change the solenoid on a uh, 9100 series power master starter one thing I did notice is the old solenoid says uh, has the thing for battery terminal on this side right here and the replacement one doesn't so if you just kind of hold it up your start terminal should be on the bottom and your battery terminal goes to the right hand side the other one that comes down through here is the one that goes to the starter so battery here the one that goes to the starter on this side so as always thanks for watching give me a thumbs up subscribe thanks for watching